always fantasized about the BMW. There are two reasons for that. One, these were angelic looking machines. Two, they were always out of our reach. In 2018 though, BMW tried a bold step of getting into the Indian market in collaboration with TBS and producing the first two Indian made BMWs which were the BMW 310 Twin. While they were not able to make a lot of noise in 2018 because of the high pricing, for BMW it was a cost effective motorcycle but for the Indian market it was still expensive. These motorcycles were, would cost you somewhere around 3.5 to 4 lakh rupees. When most motorcycle producers are increasing their prices when upgrading their motorcycles to be a 6, BMW has done a contradicting step. They have not only converted these motorcycles to be a 6, they've also reduced the pricing. The history of BMW motorcycles started back in 1920. They are called BMW Motorrad. How they started was producing engines for other manufacturers for their motorcycles. In 1923 though, BMW produced its first production motorcycle called the R32, which was a twin cylinder powerhouse. And from there, the journey continued till today when we have these machines here in India. Hello friends, my name is Shahbaz. This is Runway Mechanic, your favorite YouTube channel. Today, we are covering BMW Motorrads, one of the twins, the 310 twins which they developed in collaboration with TVS. We are covering the roadster out of them. Today, we have the beautiful BMW G310R. It's a proper roadster which looks awesome and feels beautiful and we are covering it in the most cleanest city of India, Indore. Ready to die on the hill that you built out of lies And deception Raising your weapon Every word you speak dripping with venom the engine and performance of this motorcycle. This engine was co-developed with TVS in India. This is a 313cc water-cooled motor which produces 34 PS of power at 9500 RPM. Also produces 28 Nm of torque at 7500 RPM. This engine is pretty smooth, creates a growl. I love the exhaust note after 5000 RPM. This is a six-speed gearbox which turns out the maximum speed of 143 km per hour but all that power, is it convenient to do so? Probably yes, with the BS6 version of this motorcycle they've added a slip and assist clutch, ride by wire technology which allows you to easily cruise through city traffic and even do higher speeds with pretty ease. While this beautiful roadster turns out a lot of power, the the sole reason that you can choose to buy it for could only be this bad. But a lot of people would ask the question, how much is the mileage? So this one has an 11 litre fuel tank which turns out 32 km per litre of mileage. Which is approximately 350 km of range. I am done talking about all that power. Let's get onto the saddle and try how quickly this can go from a 0 to 60.
Ah, damn, that was a fun ride. Let me take a focus to the looks of this motorcycle. First thing which is very evident about this motorcycle, this shouts BMW from every hook and corner. You have a BMW badging inside the light, you have it on the meter, you have it on the tanks, you have it on the tail. Everywhere you see on the motorcycle, you see the name BMW and that's what they're catching, right? While this motorcycle was made in collaboration with TVS, which shows in the entire build quality, but at the end of the day, what you're paying for is the badge of that BMW. This motorcycle is so beautiful, you look at it. This can give run for money to any big 900, 800cc motorcycle. It's a proper roadster with these beautiful red alloys. This R badging, which is the roadster badging, the sport written here, the BMW logo, the gold anodized front shocker, upside down forks. They all sum it up together to make this motorcycle a beautiful one. Let me give you a peek through into the dash. This is a TFT setup. A LED setup would not have hurt anyone. BMW, if you're listening, we do need that because this thing is not visible in the day. In the sunlight, you might face some problem reading this, but in the light, it's quite lit, so not a problem. It gives you a neutral light, a fuel gauge. You have a fuel gauge here, and you have your tachometer here and then you have your RPM count at the bottom then you also have a gear indicator you also have your ABS light here this shows you the range that you can take up in the current fuel it shows you everything in digital so there's nothing manual, everything digital on this meter talking about the instrument cluster pretty neatly designed but then the quality again from TVS not that sturdy, not great feel of the plastic while the design looks neat but then the quality of it could have been better So we've ridden this motorcycle all day long and I'm gonna tell you about the tires, suspensions and the brakes of this motorcycle. So we've got a 300mm disc at the front, a 240mm disc at the back, comes with BMW Motorrads, dual channel ABS. The shocks are upside down spokes at the front, which are anodized by gold. Then you have a motor shock at the back attached to the dual swing arm. If I talk about the tires of this motorcycle, at the front you have 11070 by R17. At the rear you have 150 section tire, 60 by R17. That's pretty much about the motorcycles, brakes, tires and suspension. So, the little details that I love about this motorcycle, if you see, both the clutch lever and the brake lever are adjustable. So you can adjust them as per your choice and get you a pretty comfortable ride. So talking about the ergonomics of the motorcycle, the seat height at 785mm is quite comfortable for most Indians. I'm 6'1", my feet are well on the ground, also ours. If you are around 5'5", five, 5'6", five, five, it would be very suitable for you. The sitting posture is very upright and standard, your back is straight, the foot specs are not too at the front, not too at the back, they are just in the middle, giving you the commanding feel, you can tuck in your knees onto the tank. But while you want to go faster and want to more, be more aggressive, you can simply tuck into the tank and can go faster. And that was the ergonomics of this motorcycle. I love them. While this machine can really, really go fast quickly, uh, how would it perform in the traffic of the city? It's got a very smooth slipper clutch, ride by wire, giving you a quick throttle response, the six speed gearbox. Uh, it performs pretty well in traffic. You can cruise at speeds of 30, 40 kilometers easily in bumper to bumper. The only problem I see, the low end torque can be problematic at times. Finally, let's conclude the pros and the cons of this motorcycle. Let me tell you the good things about this one. It gives you the big bike feeling. In 3 lakh rupees, you can feel like a king riding a BMW in, on the Indian streets. This motorcycle has a slip and assist clutch. 300cc engine which produces some raw power, a growling exhaust when you move upwards of 5000 rpm, ride by wire gives you a very responsive throttle. All LED setup at the front, all LED setup at the back, great mirrors give you great visibility, a very smooth and buttery clutch, 
with this fabulous tires, it's a great machine. But now, what are the cons? The cons are, service network of BMW would fall short. Why? Because, you know, one of the states or a couple of states, you only have one BMW showroom. While we were very thankful to Munich BMW Motorrads for providing this motorcycle and great service experience, I'm not sure how would they cover the entirety of India. Spare parts and the service availability might be another challenge. Not too sure on these bikes, but on the bigger bikes it is. Once you've pushed this motorcycle above speeds of 100 km an hour, you feel the vibes on the handle, on the foot pegs and on the tank. But I think those many are required to get the feeling raw power of that motorcycle. Though I've spoken a lot about the shorter service network of BMW Motorrad in India, but if you don't find them, for your information, you can always call on my mechanic even for your premium motorcycles. My personal opinion about this motorcycle, it's a great machine for the value and the cost the BMW is providing you for. 3 lakhs rupees and you get a Beamer, it's a great value guys. My personal opinion, it growls pretty well, runs pretty well. The only problem I see is the low end torque, but then I can live with it, right? Uh, if I was out in the market looking for a motorcycle in the 3 lakh rupee category, probably the other rival is the KTM Duke 390. While it's a faster motorcycle, but I would still put my money on a BMW. So if you like our automobile content, give us a thumbs up, like, share and subscribe to your favorite automobile YouTube channel, Onway Mechanic. And this was Shahbaz telling you about your Beamer from the cleanest city of India, Indoor, and signing off. We are reviewing BMW Motorrad's entry-level motorcycles in India. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go.